Hello everyone, it's Joe from OnePageZen.com, and today in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily configure free auto-renewing SSL certificates for the Bitnami version of WordPress on Google Cloud. Now, as you can see here, I've already deployed my uh, Bitnami WordPress installation to a uh, Google Cloud virtual machine. And I've already pointed my domain name to this WordPress installation. If you haven't done these steps yet, uh, check out the description to this video where I've included links to those tutorials. So once you've uh, gotten this far, uh, let's configure our uh, SSL. So the first step is to head on over to your Google Cloud Platform dashboard. Then in the navigation menu, let's navigate to Compute Engine then to VM instances. All right, and as you can see here, here is our virtual machine instance that's running our WordPress website. And I'm just going to click this SSH button to connect to my instance. All right, so now that I've connected to my VM instance, I'm going to copy and paste the command, which is going to allow us to auto issue our uh, SSL certificates. So I've, I've pasted the command in the SSH terminal here. And here where we have uh, your mail and your domain and the other your domain placeholder, I'm going to need to replace those with actual uh, values. So. For your mail, I'm going to add my email address. I'm just going to use example at gmail.com. But uh, you should add your uh, correct email address. And then for domain, I'm going to add onepagezen.com. And again, use your own domain name. Don't use onepagezen.com. And then here I'm going to add my domain name with the www.prefix. So one page send.com. Okay, so that looks good. I have my email entered there. I have my domain without www. And then my domain with www. in front. So that looks good. I'm going to press enter to generate the SSL certificates. Press Y, then press enter. And then press Y, and then press enter again. All right, and now it's asking if we would like to configure these certificates to auto renew every month. And we want this, so I'm going to press Y and then press enter. All right, so that looks good. The uh, script was issued, uh, executed successfully. So if I go back to my website here, and if I add the HTTPS in front, you'll see that the uh, website is showing that uh, the uh, SSL certificates are valid. Now, if I remove the HTTPS in front, you can see that I can also load the not secure version of my domain, which is not something I want. I want for whenever a user hits my domain, they'll only be served the HTTPS version of my website. So let's fix that. Let's go back to our uh, shell here. And I'm going to paste this command, which is going to um, open our Bitnami configuration file. I'm going to press enter. All right, now I'm going to use the down arrow key and put the marker right on this line. And I'm going to press enter. Let's see, I pressed it, I think, three time, two or three times. And then I'm going to paste the following uh, rewrite rule directives here. And this is going to say, uh, tell Apache to always uh, redirect users to the HTTPS version of our website. But the one thing I need to do here 
is I'm, I'm just using the uh, left and right arrow key. I need to replace example with my actual domain name. So I'm going to do backspace, backspace a few more times. And then I'm going to put www.onepagezen.com. So that looks good. All right, now I'm going to save the file by pressing uh, Control and X at the same time, and then pressing Y, and then pressing Enter. All right, now since we made a change to one of our Apache configuration files, I'm going to have to uh, restart the server for the changes to take effect. So in order to do that, I'm just going to copy and paste the following command, press enter. And what this command is doing is it is uh, restarting Apache. Okay, so that restarted without errors, which is good. All right, so now I'm going to go back to my WordPress website here, and I'm going to try to hit this URL again without the HTTPS prefix. So press enter. And voila, as you can see, we are autom being automatically redirected to the secure version of our website. And additionally, if I were to try onepagezen.com, it would also redirect me to the secure version of the site. And that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the box below. And don't forget to check out all of the other great WordPress on Google Cloud tutorials available at onepagezen.com. Thanks a lot for watching.